Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, Shiva Tov, if you're watching this from, from Israel. And I want to do a quick video today on how to uh, search in YouTube for content that is Hebrew audio English subtitles. Now this is, I think, a really good way to learn Hebrew. Um, I'm currently working on my Hebrew. I kind of go through it in fits and spurts. Um, this method would basically be, you know, the audio is in your target language and the subtitles are there in your native language, assuming you're an English speaker. So that way, if you hear, um, you probably have to be at intermediate level or at least upper beginner to learn this, you know, because if you're just really starting out, it's very hard to follow um, words at all. But if you have that kind of basic level, you can learn, definitely acquire new vocabulary through this method. Um, you know, uh, so I think it's valuable. You can also um, have subtitles in English and Hebrew, not, not on YouTube. I don't think there's any way to have dual subtitles, but you can do it. Um, on other video programs. So this definitely works. I um, Israelis commonly learn English this way, which is why you'll find many Israelis who speak uh, English with an American accent, even though they have no, no American parents or haven't lived in America. Um, I learned Spanish when I was in high school. I used to speak Spanish pretty well, largely through this method. So the negative about this for Hebrew is that there just isn't that much content it takes effort and time and you have to pay somebody to manually subtitle something in english so it tends to be done really for um israeli shows that have gone international think stuff like fauda and shdiesel on youtube there isn't a ton of it but there is some and that's because really hebrew is a pretty small language in the global picture it's only spoken as the official national language in israel nevertheless there is some i built out this uh playlist on youtube at the time I'm recording this screencast, it's got about 30 videos. I'll put a link in the description, so feel free to leave through these videos. But I'm just going to show you a couple of search terms that will be that will be useful uh, if you want to find stuff on YouTube yourself. So the vocab you're going to need is English subtitles in Hebrew is Gutuviot Ba Anglit. And now we have this wonderful uh, voice feature on uh, Google Translate. So I hope you're able to hear that. Gutuviot Ba Anglit. So because um, there's nowhere else in the world that really speaks Hebrew. This is one of the advantages of their process. Click on to add videos or search in, search in YouTube and just pop that into the pace bar. And you'll be able to find, if you search hard enough, um, you'll be able to find some stuff that might be wa wa worth watching. Now, when I'm watching videos uh, under this search, I'm generally doing so just to, uh, just to learn Hebrew, obviously. So... Um, I'm generally pretty undiscriminatory. I'd watch stuff that I ordinarily wouldn't watch. Uh, so just bear in mind that this playlist is pretty random in terms of the uh, topics covered. But I'm looking for kind of stuff like, you know, meatier content, like uh, documentaries and even maybe old films that someone put up on YouTube um, and they have English subtitles. So that's coming at it from the Hebrew standpoint. The other way is you can, of course, I'm going to click on add videos again. So there's now 31 videos in this playlist. Uh, you can also search in English, Hebrew, uh, English subtitles. Now, if you don't know yet how to type in Hebrew, you can do what I just did, go into Google Translate and just copy the Hebrew into the search bar. Uh, but typing in Hebrew is a really great skill to have. Hebrew, English subtitles. Um, again, now there's some really good vlog in Hebrew with Hebrew and English subtitles. That would be extremely useful for, for, uh, for language learners. There is... Um, there are some really good channels for um, for learning Hebrew. I'm more just kind of showing stuff that is not actually intended for learning language, but you can use this as supplementary, supplementary material. So I'm going to add this video here and I'll probably check out the channel later as well. Uh, so you can build your own playlist and search this way and you can even work on it with your friends. There's a collaborate button here. And if you turn that on, uh, you'll be able to add um, other people to work. Uh, so if you want to do this, with friends, you can do that. The second place, I'm just going to mention this in passing. I did want this to be about YouTube. Um, actually, I'll talk about Can first. Can is Israel's public broadcaster, and they actually have a whole bunch of YouTube channels. This is like the main one. Can is uh, what was formerly known as the Israel Broadcasting Corporation (IBC), and in my opinion, they um, they do a really, really good job actually. As just generally there the quality of the television they put out so this is actually an example of Hayyuhudim Abayim it's kind of a satirical show 
about the Bible. Uh, it's attracted a little bit of controversy in Israel. Other people find it quite funny. In any event, uh, this one is uh, translated. So you can go into, and again, this is one of the international productions that's watched outside of Israel. So they will add subtitles. Um, oh, they haven't added them right now. So in other, sometimes they come along later. So if you look for other shows of Hayyudim Ba'im, I'm going to again just paste to save myself a little bit of time. Um, this is season five, so it's pretty new, but let's go for yeah this one and we might see that they have it and they still don't have it so that was actually a bad example Kupai Rashid, uh, Kupai Rashid I think has them as well so and anyway if you dig through the can channel you might be able to find some series um, that do have it I don't want to play too many of these because I'm going to get a copyright uh, claim automatically if I do um, just to point out as well there isn't just one can channel they actually have a whole bunch of can channels so if you search for can and then you filter the results by channel you can see how many channels they have there's can digital can had a shot which is news um and so if you're able to learn hebrew through just looking at subtitles in hebrew um can i think it might be something stipulated by law but they actually add subtitles in hebrew to like an absolutely huge amount of stuff so if you go into can had a shot uh let's just open uh, this video report here um, I'm really not hitting on good examples at the moment, but uh, there is, um, ah, they have the Hebrew subtitles actually embedded into the video, so you can see that there. So if you're at that more advanced level that you can learn through watching um, audio with subtitles, Can is very, very rich. They put up a ton of stuff onto their various YouTube channels. Finally, um, Netflix. Um, so the international productions that have gone international, um, like stuff like Fauda, Stiesel, whatever, they will uh, frequently add. So uh, the way, you, um, I, if you have a Netflix account, you almost certainly know this, uh, but you can see here by clicking on that subtitle icon, there's uh, subtitles in English. And some of them only have subtitles in Hebrew, but again, you can just find. Unfortunately, I'm not aware in natively in Netflix, at least there might, there might be external websites of ways to search for um, so they, Netflix do have an audio and subtitles thing now, but it actually only lets you search for one thing at a time, audio and subtitles. If there was any way to do like a combined search, so you'd get audio, English, subtitles, Hebrew, or audio, English, or Hebrew, subtitles, English, um, that would be brilliant, but there is not such a thing at the moment. So it's just kind of trial and error going into different, uh, for example, if I do audio Hebrew, this is one way you'll definitely get um, Israeli shows, but it's you're also going to get a lot of English shows that were just dubbed into Hebrew, which is not going to be that useful to you as a learner. Uh, so those are the kind of strategies I've been using to date uh, when I periodically go into YouTube uh, to work on my Hebrew. I hope this has been at least somewhat helpful. Obviously, this is only a small part of the picture of the material out there. There's also Hebrew learning podcasts. There's Hebrew learning channels out there. And uh, but this can be a useful supplement, if, especially if, uh, you know, like me, you enjoy watching documentaries. And you can find some Hebrew documentaries that somebody, for whatever reason, added subtitles in English. And that way you can kind of learn pretty much effortlessly or pick up some additional vocabulary. Hope that video is useful. If you want to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.